Hi everybody, this is Dr. Dan Poopery. Welcome back. This is the third in my series of videos to how to make a PCB for our BME 214L class. Where we left off last time, we had our PCB design, but we just want to like fix it up a little bit. We can go ahead and look at what this looks like in 3D by hitting the push to 3D PCB. And this will take a hot minute to finish. So I like doing this because then this gets you to actually see what your thing's going to look like, okay? And so it does have our two pin connector. As I said, we're just going to plug in or solder in um, the power uh, connector for a nine volt battery. So we don't necessarily have to worry that that two pin connector is gonna be there, but you can see all the resistors, the LED, our uh, instrumentation amp. So we're gonna have the eight pin connector for this so we can plug in different instrumentation amps, uh, the op amp uh, for our voltage follower. And so you see the route on the, on the top, on the bottom, and you can also see all the text. Okay, and so that's why I like having uh, this because you can actually see what your thing is gonna look like. Okay, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna make this thing a little bit more useful for us. Um, because again, uh, we wanna make sure we know what we're doing uh, when we install this. So if I, I just wanna show you something here. So back on our 3D view, you can say it says D1 but it doesn't have this LED down at the bottom, right? And if we go back to our thing, it looks like they're both gonna be there, but I'm gonna click on the LED, right? And it says it's layers on T values, so that's top values. If I click on D1, it says T names, top names. Okay, so that's gonna tell us that when it gets silk screened at the PCB manufacturer, it's only gonna put the T names on here not the T values, okay? And so if you want certain text on here, then it, you wanna make sure it's on the layer T names and not T values, okay? So for instance, this IC1 is on T names, it will show up. This AZ620 is on T values, it will not show up, okay? So if you wanted to show, make it show up on the print, maybe I'll just change that to T names. Okay, and then all, although this is not visible on our 3D PCB, like it will be visible when we want to figure out if we're plugging the 8620 in here or in here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do the op amp the same way. I'm going to change that to T names so it shows up. LED, I'm going to go ahead and change that to T names as well. Um, and then some of these, I just don't, like, why do I need this to say D1, right? So I'm just gonna actually hit delete. Why do I need to see this say IC1? I'm gonna hit delete or X1, delete, right? Like some of that stuff is just unnecessary. The other thing we wanna do is uh, think about what our resistors are. And so this is where, if you don't remember, you'll go back to your um, schematic and look at what the resistors are. So R1 and R2, are these voltage follower resistors. This is the case that, okay, maybe you want these next to each other or something like that, just because you know they're gonna be the same, and so maybe you're gonna put them both together. Uh, I selected the route, and so you can actually change the route like that, but I actually wanna select the resistor and move the resistor to there. I'm gonna move this connector out of the way. Okay, and instead of R2 and R1, maybe I'm just gonna change these uh, so we can see that's on T names. I'm going to change this to like VFR1 and maybe this one to VFR2, right? So that's our voltage follower resistor one, voltage follower resistor two. You know, this two pin connector, I don't, I don't need the name two pin connector there. So I'm going to delete that. I also don't really need this U1 thing over there. So I'm going to delete that. Um, and so this is how you can like clean up your circuit a little bit, right? Okay, so I wanna find out what these other resistors are so I make sure I get uh, the correct name. R3 is our gain resistor, so that one's easy. So I'm gonna just rename it to RG. R4 and five are our uh, basically um, input resistors um, and so I just want to make sure I, I label them correctly. And again, maybe I'm going to put these next to each other. 
okay, I'm going to call one in R1 in R2 or something like that. And then maybe just call this out R because this is the resistor that goes with uh, the LED. Okay, it's going to be unhappy with me. So sometimes when you're dragging things around and the route's done, um, it has a hard time. And so what I'm actually going to do here is do this rip up command where I rip up all the routes. Yes. Okay. And so now it'll, it'll allow me to actually move this. And if I'm really good, you know, I can probably even save some space on the PCB uh, by, you know, make it a little bit smaller, being creative about where I place stuff. And so you guys, like, you guys can mess with that, right? You can move stuff around, get the PCB nice and compact, um, which is kind of what you'd like. And then we need to reroute this again, right? So I'm going to go back to the auto router because I've moved everything around. We can hit continue. And again, unless you have a real reason to choose one of these, I'll just choose the top one. Um, that's good enough for me. Okay, and the last thing I kind of want to do, well, there's two more things I want to do. Okay, is we're going we're gonna to plug the battery or we're going to solder the battery terminals in here. And you, you don't want to have to like go back to the document and remember which battery terminal goes to which, right? So I want to make sure I get this um, correct to start with. The connection one is to positive, connection two is to negative, but I can't really tell from this uh, which is positive and which is negative. But I can tell that this one goes to one side of VFR1, right? So I'm going to find and say, so VFR1 is hooked up to the negative voltage. So this side where this red top route is the negative side right here. And I'm just going to confirm that. So I'm going to look at where this goes. This one goes on the bottom to VFR2. And so I'll look back here, be able to show that V plus goes to VFR2. Okay, so this is negative and this is plus. And so now what I'm going to want to do is make sure I label my board with that. And so I can actually go and choose a layer, top names. Remember, that's what will show up. And I can go to document. And I can draw stuff on this document. And so I'm going to draw some text. And I'm just going to draw a minus sign. Maybe I'll draw V minus just to make it more clear. Oops, I didn't want to close that because you got to leave it open to put the V minus on. Draw text V minus. And now I want to draw a V plus. I'm going to stick it over by this one. Okay, so now I know I can solder my positive voltage to this side and negative voltage from the battery to this side. The other thing that you're going to want to do, and everybody has to do, is make sure you put your name on here, right? So I'm going to insert text, and I'm going to put like Dr. Dan's instrumentation amp tester. Okay, so that's too big to fit, so I'm just going to go ahead and do Dr. Dan's first. And then I'm going to do instrumentation amp tester. And so you can actually change the font size and everything too. If things aren't fitting or you wanted to change the font size, I'm totally fine. Right, and so now um, we're going to go ahead and look at what it looks like in 3D. And so you'll see, as we've been making these changes, it says the 2D and 3D PCB documents are out of shape. So if we go to 3D, it didn't update anything on there. On this one, if we go to design, there's the push to 3D PCB, right? So we can just push the updates to the 3D PCB. And it's taking a second to do. Okay, and so now it made all those updates. And so now you can see it put all the text on the board that we wanted. It moved things around to how we wanted. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter that some of these things are covered by the resistors, right? Because that's the whole point of having that text is so I know where to solder the resistors in. Okay, so this looks pretty good. We're pretty happy with this. I'm going to save 